Elaine Thompson Hera and her husband Darren Hera speak openly about her 2022 season. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button and finally leave your thoughts. After this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, when you're ready, yep, good to go. In an article today in the Jamaica Gleaner, Jamaica's Elaine Thompson Hera, the world's fastest living woman over the 100 meters and second fastest alive, and her husband and now coach, Darren Hera, both, both spoke openly and assessed how they thought she did for the 2022 season. By both their assessment, they said, well, her husband said, I thought we did pretty well. Do you agree? Do you agree that Elaine Tom Sahara had a pretty good season? After leaving the MVP track club and the great coach Stephen Francis at the end of a splendid 2021 season, Tom Sahara and her husband, uh, Darren Hera, started the new era track club. Now, many of you, and I mean many of you, have consistently stated that Elaine Thompson Hera had a poor 2022 season and would never get back to the form of 2021 until she leaves the coaching of her husband and head back to the MVP track club and coach Stephen Francis, which people I think is pretty much never ever going to happen. So let them tell you how, meaning Darren Hera, her husband and coach, and Elaine tell you their thoughts on her 2022 season. Quote, The year was successful in the sense that we made it through one first season, but based on our goals and expectations, we fell short. Given the situation we were in, based on injuries and a lot of discomforts and so on, we had to basically Im improvise as we went along. I thought we did pretty well, uh, Darren Harris said. It's a lot to build on and it was a learning experience because I, be I, believe in, I believe in continuing improvement, he said. Elaine Thompson here, the world's second fastest woman all time and fastest woman alive of the 100 meters and third fastest over the 200 meters, secured her first medal, a bronze, in the World Championships 100 meter finals in Eugene, Oregon. Her first World Championship medal since i believe her silver medal over the 200 meters in 2015 or 2016. Tom Sahara's coach and husband, Darren Heron, went on to state, we definitely will win more medals and titles. We see all the potential. We see things that nobody else is privy to see. I really expect a lot more in the future, he said. He said the setup of the track club was to help Tom Sahara achieve her personal goals. Elaine Tom Sahara achieved a season's best of 10.79 at the Prefontaine Classic 2022 up there in Eugene, Oregon, and went on to become the double Commonwealth champion in England, winning both the 100 and 200 meters at the Commonwealth Championship, as well as establishing meet records in both. Elaine Thompson Hero won in 10.95 of the 100 meters and came back to win the 200 meter finals in 2202. Darren Hero went on to explain why he stepped in to assist in managing his wife's career. He said, based on the situation I took on, I took on the role of my wife's coach and we just started 
that since she wanted a pers to personalize a personalized setup we just entered and registered the track club and it's only fitting you know hera hera so we just said new era track club he said uh new era track club he said the main focus of the track club is of course his wife he said it wouldn't make sense to add too much she's coming from a situation where if you want to put it as a kind of a kind of like a manufacturing line in a sense it's nothing that is custom towards a particular athlete and their goals and aspirations if if i were to be committed to other athletes then it wouldn't be fair to them and when she's ready to leave then i just up and then i'm just up and gone i have been involved in track and field since about age five but maybe because of this situation now with elaine it's being highlighted Aaron Herra went on to state, I've worked with the Racers Track Club setup initially alongside Bert Cameron. Then I worked with Cameron Blazers Track Club, then the Michael University and St. Jago High School. And this is dating back from 2012, the former St. Jago hurdler said. He went on to state that the critics do not bother him and that he's focused on working on his wife to bring more accolades now this of course is my two cents look people um i've already stated that frankly speaking given the fact that she was injured and she must have been injured it was kind of evident and she stated so and i see no reason why herself her husband and the rest of her team would tell people she's injured and she wasn't and uh, clearly we saw a difference between the beginning of her season and the mid and end of her season clearly something went off her times were uh improving gradually as they normally do when she has a good year remember she's not like a shelly and fraser price shelly and fraser price comes out of the blocks swinging she improves and improves and improves that's what she did in 2016 that's also what she did in 2021 um so obviously she was injured so given the fact that she was injured given the fact that she got a bronze medal ran a p up a, a season's best apologies of 10.79 um and went on to become double commonwealth champion like i stated under normal circumstances if she were a regular world-class athlete that would be an extremely good year but of course she's elaine thompson hera and we were all hoping for her to break the world record this year but you can't break the world record if you are injured and i've already gone on to state repeatedly that whether or not she was with siva francis she ran with siva francis injured for five to seven years so um you know the truth is i sort of believe that we need more time to assess whether or not the chemistry between herself and her husband in terms of coaching is working you know his uh, what he said seems to make a lot of sense to me it's a working progress they had issues with, with injuries and setbacks. So let's see what happens next year. Now, I know some of you are going to say, Peter, I don't care. You shall have to go back to MVP. Shiva Francis is a boss, etc. And I'm going to again state it. Other people have left, left coach Stephen Francis and had the best times of their life, ran the best they've ever ran in their entire existence to take nothing away from Stephen Francis. So in my humble opinion, I think let's give them another season. Let's see how this works out. I believe that they did okay. It was an okay season. I wouldn't say they did pretty well. I, I think I disagree with that. I think that's overstating it. But I think they had a solid season. It wasn't a bad season, but it wasn't the season that we all anticipated. Let's see what happens in 2023. Let's hope that she gets over these injuries. Um, and let's see what happens move, moving forward. But it was really great to hear you know um their two cents in this instance and not just <laughs> of course my two cents now i would love to know your thoughts do you agree with them do you think she had a pretty you know the season went pretty well um do you believe that it's the injuries or do you still believe that she needs to get back to coach Stephen francis or find a more competent coach i'd love to know your thoughts now go ahead now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and hit the like button remember you are royals the kings and queens bless up